In this video, we're going to do a quick review of fractions. We're going to talk about how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. Now, when adding or subtracting fractions, you need to get common denominators. So we have 2 over 3 plus 3 over 4. To get common denominators, I'm going to multiply the first fraction using the denominator of the second, and I'm going to multiply the second fraction using the denominator of the first. This will help me to get common denominators. So now we can multiply across. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 3 is 12. So now that we have the same denominator, we can add the numerators of the two fractions. 8 plus 9 is 17. So the answer as an improper fraction is 17 over 12. And if we want to, we can convert this to a mixed number. 17 over 12 is 12 over 12 plus 5 over 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1. So we have 1 plus 5 over 12, which is 1 and 5 twelfths as a mixed number. Now, let's work on a second example. So let's get common denominators. I'm going to multiply the first fraction using the denominator of the second. And I'm going to multiply the second fraction using the denominator of the first. So here we have 5 times 5, which is 25. 5 times 6 is 30. 2 times 6 is 12. And this will be 30 as well. So now that we have the same denominator, we could subtract the numerators of the two fractions. So 25 minus 12 is 13. So this is going to be 13 over 30. Now let's talk about how we can multiply two fractions. We kind of did this in the previous two examples, but when multiplying two fractions, you need to multiply across. So here we have 3 times 5, which is 15, and 4 times 8, that's 32. So we can't really simplify this fraction, so this is going to be the answer. So that's how you can multiply two fractions. You simply multiply across. Now, we could do the same thing with the second example, but 4 times 21 is a big number. 7 times 32 is also a big number. So before we multiply across for this example, it's better to see if we could simplify the fractions first in order to cancel out any common numbers. 21 is 7 times 3, and 32 is 8 times 4. So we could cancel a bottom number with a top number if they're identical. So we could cancel out the 7 and the 4, and we'll be left with 3 over 8. So as you can see, it's a whole lot easier to cancel before you multiply if you can. Here, we can't cancel anything, so we could just, we just have to multiply across. So to review, whenever you're adding or subtracting fractions, you need to get common denominators. When you're multiplying two fractions, you need to multiply across. Now, when dividing two fractions, you need to use the expression keep change flip to convert the division problem into a multiplication problem. So we're going to keep the first fraction the same. We're going to change division to multiplication and then we're going to flip the second fraction. So these two operations are equivalent. So now we can multiply across. 3 times 7 is 21. 5 times 2 is 10. So the answer as an improper fraction is 21 over 10. If you want to convert it to a mixed number, let's see, how many times does 10 go into 21? 10 goes into 21 two times. 10 times 2 is 20. 21 minus 20 is 1. So as a mixed number, this is 2 and 1 tenths. You can also do it this way. 21 is 20 plus 1. So we have this. 20 divided by 10 is 2. So we have 2 plus 1 over 10, which is 2 and 1 tenths as a mixed number. Now let's work on the last example. 
using keep change flip, let's keep the first fraction. Let's change division to multiplication. And then we're going to flip the second fraction. Now we can multiply across, but for this one, we could simplify before we do that. 8 is 4 times 2. And 6 is 3 times 2. 15 is 5 times 3. So notice that we could cancel a 5. We could cancel a 3. And we could cancel a 2. So all of the top numbers have been canceled. When that happens, there's a 1 left over. On the bottom, we have a 4. So this is the answer, 1 over 4.